Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another video with me here at Sam of Somalia. Today I wanted to go over a question that I've had. I've had the same question about 20 times actually, and just worded in sort of a slightly different way. I've been asked, what Kabil is your wife from? Where is your wife from, north or south? In one of my videos I had someone say, Darod got no power. Darod got no power. Hawiya run things. Hawiya got no power. Isaac run things. I've been asked countless times what tribe my wife is from. I've been asked countless times whether my wife is from north or south. I've been asked countless times what tribe like, I've married into and like and therefore like I associate myself with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you right now what tribe my wife is from. And wallah, it is the best tribe of you. My wife is from the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My wife is from the best tribe. We are from the best tribe. Alhamdulillah, I've married into the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That should surely be the most important thing. The people who would love to divide Somalia, wouldn't they love for us to talk about how, you know, I've married into, you know, some tribe, but you're actually another tribe, and wouldn't they love for my channel to be overtaken by that discussion? Wouldn't they love for people who are interested in Somali language and culture, and people who are Somalis, to get together and for us to talk about what different, our differences in our tribes, and to become divided like that? Wouldn't they love that? <sighs> haven't, haven't, like, haven't colonizers and people been doing that for, for centuries now? trying to divide the Somali people by talking about your divisions and about your differences, when actually there are so many things that bring all of the Somali people together. But honestly, will you not stop and think for a second the number of things that the Somali people can unify upon? There are very few countries in the world that have pretty much 100% same ethnicity, pretty much 100% same language, pretty much 100% same religion, and, and not even just the same religion, not even just like Sunni Islam, more or less 100%. But even more or less 100% the same school of fiqh. There aren't many countries that can claim that they are pretty much all upon one school of fiqh. Whether it be Maliki or Shafi'i or Hanbali or whatever. There are some others, but like, the number of things that all the Somali people can unify upon. <sighs> I'll remind you now that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to us in the Quran, وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Hold tight to the rope of Allah. Jami'an, all together. And do not become divided. Indeed, this channel is not for division. I will not entertain these discussions on my channel, to be quite frank with you. I will not even entertain the discussions of things that can cause division between us. This is a channel for unity. This is a channel where I'll discuss things that the vast majority of the Somali people can share. In language and in history and in, you know, inshallah I'll talk about poetry and stuff as well. And, and, and language that the majority of the Somali people share and can understand together. That'll be the focus of my channel. And don't ever forget when you're drawn into these discussions about Qabil and about tribe. In the most important way. In the only way that matters really. In the only way that will really matter. You share the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In our deen, we share the same forefather. In our deen, we come from the same Qabil. And as I said, is the only Qabil that truly will matter on the last day and truly matters in the dunya as well. Just as a disclaimer before I end, inshallah, I know that I'll get people who tell me that your Qabil is important and it's important to remember your history and your heritage, and it is. In this video, I'm not saying you should not know what Qabil you're from. I'm not saying that we should all become just like one, you know, same ethnicity, same identity upon the Muslims. We have diversity, alhamdulillah. So it's fine to know your Qabil. That's not what I'm saying. I'll clarify that very clearly right now. I am not saying that you should forget, forget what Qabil you're from and you should forget your lineage. You should know it. But do not ever put that above the thing that unifies us all, which is being part of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I hope you enjoyed this video and please share it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi 
وبركاته